Toyota has named Koji Sato as its new president. Getting the Lexus president to become the new CEO. Uh, and Akio Toyota, I think he gets uh, knocked for Toyota's position in the fully electric vehicle space. Toyota, the world's largest car maker, is going through some big changes. Their old CEO took them down a path of diversified powertrains. And unlike their competitors who have gone all electric, Toyota decided to build hybrid, hydrogen, battery electric, and regular gas power cars. And although the old CEO has moved on, the Toyota hydrogen engine team has had a breakthrough. The new Toyota CEO recently revealed a proprietary hydrogen combustion engine, which could be a game changer. Join us today to explain Toyota's new hydrogen combustion engine and what it means for the industry. But let's step back and look at the big picture before we get into the details. The world is in a climate crisis, and according to GlobalCitizen.org, 15% of the world's carbon emissions come from the transportation industry. Traditional combustion engines have been a major source of pollution, and the emergence of Tesla and political legislation has forced the industry to rapidly make cars that are better for the environment. Although battery electric is in the lead right now, it is not the only way to propel a car sustainably. We made a video about the Toyota CEO's position, which had 1.7 million views and 10,000 comments, many of which agree with his ideas. The jury is still out as to which will be the de facto global solution 50 or 100 years from now. The ex-Toyota CEO's main principle was to keep it open and let the people decide. Although he made some mistakes along the way, it is clear that a large group of people also believe hydrogen is a better solution. Along with hydrogen being the most abundant substance in our universe, the only byproduct of the exhaust pipe is water. They have longer ranges and don't need to be recharged. All hydrogen engines until now used a hydrogen fuel cell, which converts hydrogen into electricity. However, Toyota has now claimed to have created a new way of harnessing the power of hydrogen. Toyota's engineering team recently showed off the Corolla Cross H2 concept, a new prototype car with a hydrogen combustion engine. Toyota has been working on a new car with a hydrogen combustion engine, different from the fuel cell technology that powers their last hydrogen-powered car called the Toyota Mirai. They call this the H2 Internal Combustion Engine, or H2 ICE for short. The GR Corolla H2 is a concept car that Toyota has developed to showcase its vision of using hydrogen as an alternative fuel for internal combustion engines. The car uses a 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine that runs on hydrogen instead of gasoline. This engine is also used in Toyota Corolla's sport race car and produces 300 horsepower. The H2 is based on the GR Corolla, a high-performance version of the popular compact sedan with a six-speed intelligent manual transmission, an all-wheel drive system, and variable torque distribution, and sport-tuned suspension. It aims to combine the performance and handling of the GR Corolla with the environmental benefits and potential cost savings of hydrogen fuel. Toyota claims that hydrogen can be produced from various renewable sources, such as solar, wind, or biomass, and can be stored and transported more easily than electricity. Hydrogen also has a higher energy density than batteries, providing a longer driving range and faster refueling times. Toyota believes hydrogen can be a viable option for future mobility as an alternative to battery or gas. The car was equipped with a heavy-duty fuel tank to hold the hydrogen under high pressure for safety reasons. They have also added stronger connecting rods, harder valves and valve seats, and fuel injectors that use gas instead of liquid. So what are the benefits of this new technology? Let's start with one of the main drawbacks of electric cars – charging. If you're new to EVs, these are the most significant changes you must adapt to. Although in theory, it's no big deal, there are plenty of horror stories in reality. As demand for Teslas has skyrocketed over the past year, so has the need for charging infrastructure. And while the Tesla supercharging network is often credited as being one of the best and most widespread in the world, it still faces growing pains as it attempts to keep up with a wave of new buyers. One example was Christmas weekend in the UK, when Tesla drivers reported 40 to 50 car lines and over a three-hour wait to connect to a charger. Another example is when popular YouTuber, the Strodman took his EV Hummer out on an adventure trip only to experience a textbook EV horror story. He ran out of battery multiple times because every charging station he tried was out of order. Customer support couldn't help him because it was UT office hours, and he almost froze to death. I put in the link to the video if you want to check it out after. Like an ICE car, hydrogen takes 90 seconds to fill up, and although there aren't many outlets right now supplying it, 
they normally integrate well with traditional gas stations. It only takes 90 seconds to fill up the GR Yaris H2, as it has a small battery, which requires fewer raw materials like lithium or nickel. Toyota claims that H2 ICE technology has the potential to offer a faster and more accessible way to cut carbon emissions by making use of existing technologies and abundant elements. Although there is a small battery, it uses 70% less raw materials like nickel and lithium to build the car. We have yet to determine when to see it in passenger cars. However, Toyota has decided to put it through its paces on the racetrack first. In 2022, Toyota's rookie racing team entered the GR Corolla H2 with a hydrogen combustion engine in Japan's Super Taikyu endurance races. Toyota chairman and former president Akio Toyota drove in every race under the name Marizo, a pseudonym for a master driver. This gave him a chance to evaluate and help improve the vehicle firsthand. Toyota's approach to hydrogen combustion engines is interesting because they use the technology in a hybrid system instead of as the only power source. This gives you more options and can help you get around some of the problems with the technology, like the need for big fuel tanks. But some doubters have expressed concerns over the efficiency of hydrogen engines compared to electric vehicles. Elon Musk has been vocal about his skepticism and criticism of hydrogen cars. Musk has called hydrogen cars extremely silly and the most dumb thing for energy storage. He has argued that hydrogen is inefficient, costly, and difficult to store and transport compared to electricity. Toyota has become known for its commitment to excellence and dependability, as well as its work in hybrid and electric vehicles that was ahead of its time. Today, Toyota's reputation for building reliable cars with high resale value is one of its biggest strengths. The company's loyal customer base has always done well in customer satisfaction surveys. Toyota's commitment to new ideas and caring for the environment has been a hallmark of the company for a long time. Although they haven't delivered a competitive EV for the Western world, they have millions of customers across Asia, Africa, and South America that don't care. No matter what, Toyota's plans for a hydrogen-powered engine are a big investment in environmentally friendly transportation technology. Even though the technology is still in its early stages, it could be a big part of the solution to climate change and reducing vehicle pollution. Toyota is trying something new by combining hydrogen combustion with hybrid technology. This could help hydrogen overcome some of its problems as a fuel source. As the auto industry changes, it will be interesting to see how Toyota's investment in this technology works out and if it helps hydrogen become a more popular fuel source. The question is, how quickly will Toyota be able to bring its hydrogen combustion engine to market? And how will it compare to other sustainable transportation options like electric vehicles? What do you think? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching today. We appreciate it if you leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV, Ford, and tech news.